Welcome back to another episode. My name is Mike. My name is Jalen. Let's hop into it, guys. We're going to talk to you today about the routine of a six-figure earner mm. as an insurance agent. Now, guys, this one means a lot to my heart and my soul because you can tell by my facial expression. But this is probably one of the main reasons why I was able to see success as an agent. Mm. I'm very, very military with my routine. But I think having a successful routine now it causes you to have a duplicable process. So the first way to have a effective routine is to create a schedule. Jalen, why is it so important to create a schedule as an insurance agent? Yeah, it's extremely, extremely important, guys. I want you guys to understand something. They say that the money is in the details, yeah. okay? Yeah. The money's in the details. And when I, what that means for business is that your money is in your daily habits and mm -hmm. in your daily routine. Yeah. Right. I can look at an agent schedule and literally see how much money they're going to make that week. Simple. It's, it's really that 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 simple. If you got an extremely open schedule with nothing planned, just know you're literally preparing for success. Yes. So when it comes to creating a schedule, guys, it's extremely important because it literally allows for you to be able to employ yourself to your business. That's it. Right? That's it. Now, a lot of people will be like, well, Jaylee, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, right? Can you come cut the grass? Can you go take my mom to the pharmacy? Whatever it may be, right? Yeah. If yeah. you do not have control over your schedule, you are literally setting yourself up for failure. So, what we want to give you guys today is three things that can help you redefine and define your schedule moving forward. So, here's the first one. Plan your work 30 days in advance. Boom. Okay? So we're coming up in September coming up to September of 2024. Of 2024. And this applies in any year, right? But I want you guys to understand this. Every 30 days before the new month comes in, I always plan my work 30 days in advance. Mm. Here's what this looks like. Okay, so in September, how many days is September? 30, 31? About 30. Okay, so let's say there's 30 days in September. I like to look at my schedule in August, right? We're about to end August. I like to look at September and look at what days I have other things planned. Mm -hmm. So for instance, I always look, like to look at, okay, do I have any doctor's appointments coming up? Do I have any vacations? Do I have any trips, mm -hmm. right? Do I have mm -hmm. anything going on with my nephews, my nieces, or your children, whatever it may be, right? Spouse. Your spouse. Do I have anything fun planned that day? And I mark those days off first. Or time blocks. So this is what I'm about to teach you guys. I'm about to teach you guys how to buy back your time. So in September, I got a couple events coming up, right? I know that I got an event coming up for uh, our IMO, right? Yeah. We're going to be gone for like three, three days. Two days. Two days. So I'm marking those days off that I know I'm not going to work. Mm -hmm. Okay? On Saturdays, I personally don't, don't do much work, yeah. right? So I mark those days off my schedule. So guess what, guys? If I have 30 days in the month of September, and I already marked off two days for our IMO's event, yeah. I also marked off that I don't work on Saturdays, right? Not saying you shouldn't, but hey, I don't work on Saturdays. Now, that marks off automatically six days out of 30 that I know I'm not going to be working. So you got 24 left. So you got 24 days to hit your goal. Now, watch how beautiful this is. If I want to make $10,000 a month, which is the, we think is the standard for an entrepreneur to make ten grand a month. Ten grand a month. It's be your first goal. All you got to do is take twenty ten thousand divided by twenty four days. Yeah. And all you got to do is make five hundred dollars a day. <laughs> Pretty much. That's one it's like, app it's like a day. Four seventy five. Like four seventy five. That's literally one application per day. Yeah. Just by simply knowing your schedule and preparing 30 days in advance. Now watch how beautiful this is, guys. If mm -hmm. I know I just need to protect one family a day, one family a day, that simply means that if I need to go out there and assist families, which I know I need to do, all I gotta do, guys, is calculate how many leads I need to buy that entire month, mm -hmm. and I reverse engineer it. And now I can really get down into the details of exactly what I need to do in order to accomplish my goals within those 24 days. Does yeah. that make sense? It makes it please sense. Knowing your schedule is like you said before, you know, as entrepreneurs, well, 
I'm an entrepreneur now. I'm going to kind of work when I feel like it. There's a reason why you have the nine to five job. They have a schedule for you because that breeds success. It breeds knowing what you got to do every single day. So yeah. having your set schedule is key. Like Jalen said before, letting your loved ones, I feel like letting your loved ones know That's good. what you're going to be doing mm-hmm. every single day. That month's also very important as well. Now, Jalen, yeah. so now they're in September yeah. of 2024. All right. They need to prepare the night before. Yeah, that's good. For their for their next working day. Mm-hmm. What's some things that you should be doing the night before before the next working day? Yeah, so you already got your whole schedule for the for, for the month of September. Yeah. Right? So now it's plan your work, work your plan, baby. Yeah. So every single night before you get started, you want to break up your days in increments. Mm-hmm. Right? So for me, what I like to do is I like to get my leads ready. Yes. Okay. Now I'm I'm phone sales. You yeah. can do field sales. Yeah. Over the if yeah. face to face, you yeah. know, having I, your route ready. Yeah. So the leads printed out. Yeah. So I'm gonna do phone sales. You do field sales. Sounds about good. What these do. So for yeah. phone sales, right? The night before, I like to get my 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 my, my leads my lead sheet up. Yeah. My Google sheet up. Nice color coded. Nice color coded. I need to know exactly who I'm gonna be reaching out to that day. Mm-hmm. Okay. I need to know what leads are fresh, so I have it on this own spreadsheet. Which leads I got. The night uh, last week, mm-hmm. I need to have that on a separate spreadsheet. So that way, I can literally see which clients I'm going to be calling first and then which call- clients I'm going to be calling in the evening. If you really want to get extremely savvy with it, okay, I like to call all of my final expense clients, right, who are above 55 or 60 years old in the morning times. Mm. Yeah, because they, they home. Yeah, they, they at chilling. Home watching the prices right. Yeah, but I'm not going to be calling. A 30, 40, 50 year old because they're going to be working. So you're not going to get that many people that answer. So I save them for the evening time. Mm -hmm. Right. It's also extremely important if you're working multiple states. If I'm on on the East Coast, you got to understand that in the evening times, working at like nine, calling nine at nine o'clock on the East time, Mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time. Some clients may cuss you out. So you got to have a sub a Western state that you can be able to call. So having a separate spreadsheet as well for all your Western clients so you can be able to still work through the evening. I love that. So probably just that. having your client, your, your, your work, your, your Google sheet up with all your leads and knowing exactly when you're calling your clients is extremely important. For face to face, so I recommend this is so it's a really simple thing. But getting gas the night before, <laughs> getting gas the night before, we don't got to worry about it's that. It's simple. Just do it. You know you need to get gas. Get the night before. That's good. You know, having your meals ready for the next day. I, I like meal prepping. Mm-hmm. You know, having your outfit ready, nicely ironed, pressed, washed, everything. Having your leads printed out and in your map cross wrap planner or your circuit app, whatever app planner you're using to map your routes. Put those leads into there so the night before so you know exactly where you're going to be going the next day. That's really good. That's really, you know, really good. Simple things like that as a face-to-face agent saves you a ton of time the next day. Yeah, make sure you get some pl- plenty of rest, too. Because yeah. some of y'all be looking tired. Yeah. You know, on those Zoom calls. Exactly. You got to make sure you get some good rest. <laughs> exactly. you got a long day ahead of you. Exactly. Now, last before going to our next bullet to the point is... Having your set days to talk to your coach. Yeah, that's this is all still within to create your create your schedule. So mm-hmm. having your set days within that month of September to talk to your coach. Yeah, you know, if you're new to the industry of insurance, I recommend about three to four, five times a week. Shoot, <laughs> every day maybe honestly a good thing too. And guys, it's important for you to demand time for your coach. Your coach wants to talk to you. But you got to demand time. You know, scare money makes no money. So if you know you're, you're treading underneath water and you need to be saved, you need to reach out to get saved. Yeah, I'm it's, not, it's not your coach's job to reach out to you, mm-hmm. when, you when he thinks or he or she thinks you need to be saved. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you all this, too. You know, this is extremely important. It's your job to always reach out to your coach. Your, not like, like Mike said, your coach is not your coach's job to reach out to you. Yeah. Because he has a ton of other responsibilities that he's probably taking care of and putting out fires that you yeah. probably aren't aware of. Yeah. But the coach will reach, always wants to work, work with you guys. But you, it's, it's, it's extremely important for you guys to reach out to your coach yeah. so that way he sees that you actually want to win. Yeah. And he's going to give you some time. So if you yeah. can't talk to him three, four days out of the week, 
at least try to have one set day, yes. one set day a week, like maybe on a Friday or on a Monday. Just try to get one set day for and 30 minutes. And come with your calendar, with Ready your working go. days. Yeah. Hey, I had this come many prepared. working days, I had this many leads, <laughs> these, are, this, these are my metrics. So you have things to actually talk about. Yeah. Like come prepared and I call with things to talk about. These are my working days. This is my goals. This is yeah. how, much, how, how much I made last month, et cetera. Like, have questions. Yeah, already ready to go. All right, next All right. bullet point, guys. Plan your work. Plan your work. Write that one down. Hey, you write it, write it down. Plan your work. Now, this one right here means it's really special to me as well because your morning and evening routine. Ooh-wee, man. Morning, now, Jayla. Give me some nuggets, man. We've done really well for our morning and evening routine. It's almost like clockwork. I know exactly what Jalen's going to be doing on a Tuesday next year, September 30th, because I just know him. Not in a weird way, but I know he's really about his morning routine. Mm -hmm. Like, having a set morning routine is pivotal, Jalen. Yeah, very, very important. Very important. Guys, the morning routine is extremely crucial, right? Because it sets the tone for the entire day. Yeah. Right. And your mind is also at a conscious state. Yeah. You, you got you got to make sure you're locked in in the morning. Right. Yeah. Now, everybody's morning routine is going to be a little bit different. Right. Our our routines is what gets us going. That's yeah. why it's, it's, it's in a routine. So for me, I like to wake up in the morning bright and early, say some prayers, hit the gym. Right. Come back home, read scripture. Yeah. And then guess what? Checking my emails before I start my morning day, my, my day. And this is all before 9 a.m. Yeah. And then I clock in and start working exactly yeah. around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And I always tell Jalen, I always tell agents this, you know, you may have family, you may have a child, you may have a spouse, wake up before them. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, you got wake to. up before <laughs> them. It's that simple. Wake up before them and have your me time. If you can't fill up your cup, you cannot pour into others. Exactly. It's extremely important. So, guys, make sure whatever morning routine you have, stick to it. If, so, you're, if you're waking up in the morning and checking Facebook or IG or, I don't know, Sports Center in the first 30 minutes of your day, the news. that's a problem. The news, yeah. those are negative things. Yeah. Actually, your mind's at a conscious state. You want to give it things that's going to actually make you feel good. Exactly. So always, always stick to your morning routine. It's going to set the time for your day. Again, and keep your routine going. Like It's a routine for a reason. Yeah. So don't allow for your routine to be changed every single week, yeah. right? Because that doesn't provide any clarity exactly. and it provides, provides fogginess, which yeah. means you don't even have the energy that you really need to get throughout the day because exactly. you're foggy. So make sure you always have a set routine in the morning. Now, the evening time is extremely important as Pivotal. well, right? You gotta make sure you have an evening routine. Like this is the time when you're winding down yes. at the evening time. Yeah. Like Mike said, you're preparing the night before to get ready for tomorrow, right? So, what does your evening routine look like? The evening routine is really important on the days when you make no sales. But I, I, I didn't have many of those days. But when I had those days, I wanted to make sure my mind was super locked in for the next day. Yeah. What do you typically do? Man, I made sure I work my belief. Mm. Because usually when you start doubting yourself. Yeah. So, what, so like audios? And audios. Like an hour, two hours, three hours. I may even go to the gym again in the evening, listen to more audios. Like, it was no Netflix. It was like I would put myself in a situation where I had to get my belief back up. That's good. And I, and I told myself the next day, way more activity. Mm -hmm. like if you have a day with no sales, the next day, is, it's not like, no, it's way more, act, double the amount of activity. I want to work myself into more sales. That's good. So the days you have no sales, you got to put your activity at an all-time high. You got to be more disciplined. Day. More discipline. Yeah. More discipline. Let's talk about the next one, guys. Have consistent lead flow. Man, oh, man. Okay? Gosh dang it. So man. here's what I'm going to say. Oh, say my here, Here's what I'm going to say about leads, guys. You Dan, know Jaylen, leads. This is, a this is a, it's a touchy one for people. For some people. You know <laughs> what I mean? A touchy one. So, guys, everything is all based on numbers. You should know how many leads you need to purchase on a monthly basis before you go into the month. And buy it every single day. Of the, buy it the same time that week, every week. Every week. Every week. So watch this, guys. I know... If I want to make $10,000 a month, okay, I know I need to protect at least, let's say 20 families, okay, depending on your contract level, 
It's like 20 families. That's five families a week. Now, watch the beautiful, beautiful part about this. Let's say you can close on 10% off of a leads. How many leads do you probably need to buy weekly? This is for over the phone. For over the phone. 10%. Let's say 10%. 50 to 75 leads flat yeah. every single week. Yeah. No questions asked. So that's 200 leads a month. What's 75 times four? That's going to be uh, 150, 225, 300. Is that right? I don't know. Times 75 four. times four, whatever it may be. But the point is, guys, is you need to make sure that you know exactly how many leads you need to purchase every single month going into the month so you can break it down weekly. So I know if I need to protect, I have 200 leads a month. I need to order 50 leads a week on the same exact day. So I like to order my leads every Thursday. Yeah. 50 leads so they can come in over the weekend and I can have them ready to go by and Monday. And Jim, they're probably wondering, why can I buy my leads every single day on the same week? <laughs> You know, quick, quick quick analogy. You go to Chick Fil A. I love Chick Fil A. <laughs> now I bet you Chick Fil A don't order their delivery. Their, their order for you know the sandwiches and the chicken on a different day of the week. They don't they don't order when they feel like ordering. They yeah. order on probably on a Tuesday and a Thursday because they know they have people to serve. Exactly. Exactly. They're, it's, it's but, not, it's not, they're not ordering when they want to order the yeah. food. It's a, it's a system. It's a set day every single time. And you're running a business. Time. Set day every single time. The only time they probably will order something on an odd day is if they just extremely busy that entire yeah. week. And, they, and then they start running out a little bit and they got to put a little order in, exactly. you know, run to another store real quick yeah. and get the ingredients. But every single time, they're ordering on the same exact day every single week and every single month. So you know, it's extremely funny, important. You know, it's from my Chick-fil-A Jalen, they got a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> they open from 10 until 10, close on Sunday. They got a schedule too. <laughs> Guys, you're running a business. Yeah. <laughs> Treat it like a business. It's not a hobby, it's a business. Number three, last one, guys. Work day routine. Ooh, wee! Man, this one got me fired up. Guys, work day routine. Yes, it's a routine for your work day as well. Mm. Knowing your numbers. Know your numbers. We'll, keep, we'll keep it real, real simple for y'all. Face to face agents, 20 door knocks a day or four presentations a day or one to two sales per day. Over the phone, what? Yeah. 300? Over the, over the phone, minimum 250 dials a day. You really want to try to get to 300. 300. Okay. But $250 a day, okay, we're going to say you get some 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 appointments. If you now, do... now Jalen, you got specified dials. Yeah, yeah. You got to do that real quick. Well, <laughs> triple dials, okay? You triple dial every single contact, okay? That's true. One dial. $250 dials a day, okay, is minimal. Like, you, you, you got to make sure you're getting it in. Now, that's going to yield you at least 10 contacts. Yeah. Out of 10 contacts, that should be able to get you at least two to three presentations. Out of those two to three presentations, you should be able to get one to two sales, depending on your skill level, of course. But even if you're not that skilled just yet, you should still be able to get closes every single day by following that one simple routine. And if you are getting 10 contacts per day, you should be recording your presentations, your contacts, Send that to your coach, your upline, and get feedback. So then you can actually be doing one to two sales per day. That's the same thing for face to face or over the phone. Like if you're in your first 90 days, I recommend you record every single call you have or a face to face interaction with a client. Send it to your coach and get feedback immediately. Every single day, record your presentation because your coach can't be there every single day to help you. Yeah. And record your presentation for yourself too, so yeah. you can literally hear yourself. Yeah. And listen to how you're how you're sounding, and see what exactly you're doing right and what you're doing wrong, and you can correct your mistakes. You never want to come to your coach empty, your coach empty-handed. You should have already in your mind yeah. what you need to work on, and then when you come to your coach, he can be able to provide co proper steps to be able to help you overcome that. Now I got two things for y'all. I got two things for y'all, Jen. Now these next two things are kind of like Mike. Man, I don't want to do this. Like. Guys, I'm telling you guys, 10 grand a month, that's over 120,000 a year. The average person, average in America right now is earning about 60 grand a year. Less so than that. 
Less than that. Oh, so forty three thousand household income like forty. <laughs> these are 000. things here to make you become an above average person. So you got to do above average things. Okay, so eating healthy meals throughout the day. Like literally, stop eating the the McDonald's, the the the, the Chick Fil A. The these things slow you down. These they boggle your mind. Mm -hmm. They're greasy foods. You want to eat healthy meals throughout the day, yeah. and also eat enough. Yeah. Drink water. Like, guys, I'm telling you, like, these are things you need to do if you want to actually perform at a high level. Athletes, they're so good because they actually treat their body. Yeah. I love LeBron James because he's, been, he's a professional. 20 years of greatness because he treats his body well. Next thing, personal development throughout your day. If you're doing face-to-face -face sales, you got plenty of time in the car. Man, you better not listen to no Chief Keef, no uh, Key Glock. All right, you've been listening to some good stuff. Myron Golden, Eric Thomas, Jim Rome, David Emanitia. Shoot, me, me and Jalen. <laughs> Listen to some actual things to keep your mind going. Guys, when I was a face-to-face -face agent really going hard, I had a playlist of about 20, 20 songs, like 20 like feel-good songs, like some really good like gospel, some really good like just Things that made me feel good. Yeah. Right, Jalen? Yeah. Am, am I just being too much with them right now or am I just being the real with them? That's all a part of the routine, though, yeah. right? Like, you, you got to make sure you have those things that make you feel good throughout the day because you're getting faced with a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure every single day you have your routine that can reset you to get you back going, right? The next thing I want to say is the accountability partner. Mm. This is extremely important, right? Yeah. Me and Mike, we've been accountability partners for a very long time. Yeah. That's why we know each other's routine the way that we do. Yeah. Right? I know I can't call, I'm not gonna call Mike before 9 a.m. because he's knocking out his morning routine, yeah. right? But if I do call him, it's something important. Yeah. So it's extremely important for you guys to have somebody who can hold you accountable. And literally, you know what their schedule is. So if you call them and they're not following up for some reason, mm -hmm. you can be like, yo, what's going on? Everything good? You, exactly. you all right? And vice versa, your accountability partner is there to help you. You guys aren't there to cause each other to stumble. If your accountability partner is causing you to stumble, guess what? He's not your accountability partner. So he or got, she. Yeah, he, they, you got to find another one, okay? Yeah. yeah. And then also, reach out to your coach on a daily basis. Guys, these are some simple things that you can do today to start enhancing your routine and start to be able to make five figures every single month without any questions asked. All you gotta do is just simply follow a routine. And I promise you, if you do that, guys, you guys will increase your sales, make more money, travel more, and be able to live the life that you truly deserve. See you guys at the top.